Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 147. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 146 to 154. Hey, Trick 147, we're going to see how to take a record from a table and put it into a column. Now, uh, we just in, this is trick 147, just in trick 146, we took a record from a table and put it at the top of each sheet. So then we had all these sheets. So that was one way to extract a record. 147, we're going to extract just part of a record and put it in column, except for there's a uh, difference here. Uh, we want to, at one, put the record for, for butcher right here, we want to put chicken, beef, mutton in a column, and there's blank. So for example, if I change this to handyman, I want this dynamic list to change. So handyman will extract these two and uh, show a blank here. So we're extracting records just like the trick 146, except for there's blanks, and we want to put the dynamic list in a column. In the in 148, we'll see how to do the same trick, but in a more complicated situation where you don't have your data set up in a proper list. You can see there's butcher here, butcher here, butcher here. All right, so let's see how to do this one here. Okay, our goal is to extract. We want to have data validation here so we can select any one of these first items in this column and then return as a dynamic list these. So right off the bat, let's uh, click here and do data validation. In 2003, you go to the uh, data menu and then uh, data validation. In 2007, you go to data and then data validation right there. Notice my screens are always pretty small so I can fit everything. So when we did it there, it didn't uh, show up just for a moment. There's data validation. However, there's a keyboard shortcut that works in all versions. I'm going to click in the cell and Alt-D-L. Alt-D-L. And we want to say list. And then we want a source. And we want this source right here. Click OK. Now I'm going to select uh, Butcher to start. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can figure out a VLOOKUP that will work here. A VLOOKUP uh, equals VLOOKUP. And the lookup value is this. Now, watch this. When we scroll down, when we copy this formula down, we need it locked. So I'm going to hit the F4 key twice so the dollar sign's in front of the number, because when we copy across numbers, we want it locked. And then comma, the VLOOKUP needs a table. So I'm going to highlight this little table. And then I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it, because when we copy down, we need it locked. Now, comma, and we're going to do something clever here, because we need a column index. When we copy it down, in this row, we need two, right? So if we're looking at butcher, we want to return from the second. But when we copy it down one to this row, we want it to pick up a three, right? Because chicken is in the second column. Here's column one, column two, column three. So when we copy the formula down, we need it to go to three and then to four for mutton. And obviously, uh, if w this is a small example, you would probably have a big table for this. So watch this. We're going to do rows. Rows function is a great way to count. 1, 2, 3, or 2, 3, 4, 5, R-O-W-S. And watch this. We're going to, whoops. We're going to highlight, and it, you, we need to highlight two rows above it. So I'm going to highlight these two rows. And the trick is you want to lock one of the cell references. I'm actually going to put a closed parentheses. And then I'm going to double click this E17 and hit F4, F4 to lock it. So what this means, this is an expandable range. So as I copy it down, right now it says how many rows are from E17 to E18. Well, 17, 18, that's two. But because this one isn't locked, when we copy it down another one, it'll say E19, and that'll be three rows. All right, now we have our VLOOKUP. Now we need to do comma zero. And you can see now, uh, and zero is because we're looking up a word. We need an exact match. All right, you ready? So now, notice I highlighted the whole range here first. So if you want to populate a range with a certain thing, you hold Control and then hit Enter. You equally could have um, simply hit uh, Control Enter and then copied it down. Now, let's go ahead and change it to uh, Handyman and see, uh-oh. It's a zero. Now here's a lesson about VLOOKUP. If there's a, let's see what's in the cell. Oh, it's a blank. 
right? So um, it, when VLOOKUP uh, gets to here, it returns a blank, but we do not want that. We don't, I mean, I'm sorry. When VLOOKUP sees this cell right here, which is empty, it returns a zero. We don't want that. We're going to see two ways to deal with this. Um, I'm going to do it one way here, and then we'll go below and kind of repeat this. Now, I'm going to hit F2. And I'm actually going to copy this whole VLOOKUP thing, Control-C, Control-C, so I've copied it. I'm going to click at the beginning and say, if, if VLOOKUP equals 0. Oops, uh-oh, that's what happens when you click outside of a cell. So um, we can see it would be false, false, and then here it would be true. Well, if it's uh, true, then we want to put a comma, and then we want a blank, which is double quote, double quote. So our screen tip, our logical test was, hey, is this VLOOKUP formula equal to 0? If that's true, right, then we put a blank, and then we put a comma. If it's false, then we're going to control V, because we copied that VLOOKUP. Close parentheses. Now if I uh, control enter and copy this down, that will work. So now we have a dynamic range, a uh, dynamic list, right? So if we pick any one of these, it'll, it'll um, fill that up. Now I want to do this again, and I want to do it with a slightly bigger table and show you an alternative to uh, this um, blank here. So there, I think there's a better way to do it than this formula here. All right, so here's our table, and here's our dynamic list. Now we want to do data validation. I'm going to say Alt-D-L. I'm going to click here on List. I'm going to click right there and highlight this, and then click OK. So now we have our, our butcher, right? Now we want to do the formula, the same formula. I'm going to highlight the whole uh, range here and do our VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. And the lookup value is going to be this. We're going to lock it going down. So I'm going to hit F4, F4. Comma, the table is going to be this whole big thing here without the, the stuff at the top. Notice there's four blanks here. Hit, uh, oh, what did I do? I forgot to hit a comma. I better do that again. I click here, F4, F4, comma. And then I'm going to highlight the whole table. I could have named it, right? And then hit F4. So right now we just have our V lookup. Uh, the lookup value in the table, comma, and we'll do our same trick with the rows, and we'll select these two above, close parentheses, and then I'm going to double click this, F4, F4. That's a cool trick uh, to get a, a number as you copy something down, and then comma, zero, close parentheses. Now, I've, um, there's my formula. I'm going to control enter. Now, when I select um, thing four, I have a blank here. Watch this. Instead of getting this big complicated formula with if and two V lookups, you can just go up to the blanks. And I'm going to highlight all the blanks. I'm going to hold my um, highlight the whole table here. And then I'm going to say um, go to, which is F5, go to, and then special and then blanks. So this is a cool way to immediately highlight all the blanks. And I'm going to put the formula for blank equals double quote, double quote. Now watch this. This is a blank formula. I have this cell, this cell, and this cell highlighted, in essence, all the blanks. So if I want to populate all the cells, I hold Control and then tap Enter. That is a more efficient way, because now our, um, at least that's the way I like to do it other people. And if you have a situation like up here where you don't want a formula there, uh, you actually want that blank, then this formula would work. But look at this. Now, because the VLOOKUP here is returning whatever is in from thing 4, which is right here, I think it is. Um, because there's a blank there, it returns a blank. And so it appears as a blank. All right, uh, that's trick 147. When we come back for 148, we'll do the same thing, but for a badly set up table. So our data won't be set up in proper uh, table format. All right, see you next trick.